Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to clean Velcro easily. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have a piece of Velcro and this is fairly clean. Both of these are fairly clean. Uh, they are really clean because I just finished cleaning them. So I just wanna share with you the methods that I usually use that work. I have four young kids, so we have a lot of Velcro shoes in the house. And over time, things get caught in some of the Velcro sections that prevent them from sticking, right? And, you know, some people just go out and buy new shoes, but I like to clean the Velcro, and then when the shoes don't fit, then we go buy new shoes. But I'm not gonna go get a new pair of shoes because the Velcro has a little bit of dirt and debris stuck in it. So I'm gonna show you and tell you about four things that you can do, and you can use a combination of all four. The first method that I wanna outline is to use uh, just like a little, uh, like a tape, you know, a tape dispenser. It's got this little plastic uh, serrated piece over here. And I like to use this to just group everything down into one section. So I'll take that little plastic serrated piece right now, just kind of comb everything down to one section. So I'm combing everything down to here, right? And I'll go like this and I'll comb everything down to one section. And that will get the majority of the stuff down in one section, okay? Now don't go too harshly because you don't want to damage the Velcro, but I've done this many times for many years. I do this many times per year and it really does a good job and I've never really damaged any of the Velcro by doing that. So, but just don't go too hard on it, okay? Then what I like to do once I've sort of combed everything down there is I essentially like to get um, a, a toothpick and I like to, because the majority of the stuff will be down there now in one section, I like to pick out anything that's remaining. So if there's one or two or 10 little pieces remaining, I just use a toothpick to just sort of get rid of those. I'll just sort of push them through the, through the lines over there until they go out. Okay, so that's the second method is using the toothpick. The third method is now that you have all of the stuff grouped down here and this should be clean because of the toothpick um, So like the majority went down there because of the tape dispenser and then the rest should be clean now because of the toothpick The third method is to use a pair of uh, tweezers to pick out all of the stuff from here So essentially now that you have all of the dirt and debris grouped around here or just having fallen on the floor already You can use a pair of tweezers to just sort of pick everything out from there and then the fourth method is to just use your fingers. If there's something that the tweezers can't grab because it's too caught or something like that, then you can use your fingers. Now, each of those methods will work individually. You can just pick everything up with your fingers. You can just sort of comb it out with the toothpick. You can just use uh, the, the, the tape dispenser to comb everything through. You can use the tweezers to pick them out as well. Um, but the best thing that works, in my opinion, is essentially using all four methods together. So like I said, the first one is I comb everything down to one section. Second thing, I get rid of anything remaining with the toothpick. Third thing, I use the tweezers to pluck everything out and usually I get all of it with the tweezers. But the fourth thing is if I can't, if the tweezers won't grip it because I need something a little bit more strong or a little bit wider, then I would use my fingers, right? And that's it, that's how to clean Velcro easily. It's actually really easy to do and you can just rejuvenate your Velcro by using these methods. Um, that's it, the best thing is to use all four of the methods together. That's what I said. Um, that'll give you the best results. These uh, were pretty dirty and I cleaned them. As you can see, they are clean. They work like flawlessly now. Like they're super, look at this. They're super sticky, right? So, I mean, yeah, that's basically it. These are uh, one of my daughter's pairs of shoes and they're now clean. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tackle the rest of the pairs of shoes now. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.